Stacks, Megan, and Loop, Jack Mornings, and it's another random act of summer teaming up with the London Police Association. They gave us a bunch of cash to do some good in the community, and today we're where, Megan? We're at the uh, London and Middlesex Humane Society, and uh, they actually have a wish list of things that they are currently looking for, so we are here to drop off some of that stuff right now, uh, plus a couple bucks. We love our furry friends. That's true, that's true, so let's go in and help them out. So here with Steve Ryle, Executive Director of the Humane Society here in London, and uh, thanks for having us in. I know you guys put out that wish list. What's like um, a couple of the things that you guys would be looking for if people are looking to make donations? Well, on a regular basis, we're always looking for food. I mean, we devour a lot of food through the building here with uh, over 2,000 adoptions every year. Uh, we go through a lot of cat and dog food. Uh, but more specifically, it, it changes week to week. And the reason why we do that is, you know, not to be uh, unthankful for any kind of gift, but we don't have a lot of space here to store stuff. So we really just want to have stuff come in on a timely basis, and it's only things that we really need. So we produce the wish list every single Wednesday, and it goes out on all our socials and, and post it up amongst the shelter here. So. Are you always at capacity here? Um, like, you know, where you house the cats and the dogs? Like, are, are you always... We're not. You know, we, we created a new adoption process last December. And that seems to be really working well as far as the, the times that the animals stay with us. And our animal health team is doing an amazing job. And so uh, with all these different programs that we've started and our new initiatives of serving food the consistently and, and the wish list bringing in only things we need, we're able to keep the animals healthier and, and, and turn them around so they can get to their new homes quicker. Finally, how long do you think it would take me to get through a rawhide chew? That's your teeth. Yeah, you're gonna be a bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jack 1023.